Hey, uh, welcome to a Christmas game. Game about Christmas by Gagman. Uh, it's made of, made from one of the finest of arts. It is deep December, seventeen deep miles December, from the town of David. David. Three shepherds uh, stand next the true to the broad tales. Christmas. Tired from the day they prepare make sure for sleep. Everyone needs to know about. Oh, for pity, my feet do bleed and my stomach does turn. If all my days are to be as such, that all is dark, woe has sent her most merciless devils to play havoc on my body. Oh my god. Hush now, Gimbal, you most foolish of fools. Not a finger did you raise in assistance to labor this day. And as for your poor stomach, the sheep fear for their own feed. If you grumble about toil, surely it is the toil of clatter queen. Insults indeed. Let it be told game, that if not for me, going on here. your sheep would be in the jaws of ghouls. Be careful when faulting my unorthodox methods. Simply ask, have any of my flock been lost? Do you hear this, Frass? Boy, can't for the game part this time. calls it. Certainly snoring as loud as a kakapo at the midday sun is undoubtedly contrary to the usual. Simmer down, you pair. My old ears can uh, abide your prattle as well as my old eyes can talk. Dear old Frass, pardon our ways. Forgiveness will come with rest. Let us lay down our heads for the night tide. Never yeah, please lay down. a finer Shut thought up. has been spoken. With love. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, take a picture of. Of all the dreams oh, I have dreamt, God. brothers, brothers, wake from slumber and lend me thy ears, for I have been gifted a vision divine. Most terribly cold it was. It snowed and, and was nearly quite dark and evening, the last evening of the year. In this cold and darkness, there went along the street a little boy. When he left home, he had on a hoodie. It is true, but what was the good of that? It was a very large hoodie, which his dad had hitherto worn. So, so was large it? was it. Was and it ho they had hoodies back then? It as he scuffed away across the street because of two Fiat Unos that rolled by dreadfully fast. Oh. He carried a oh, here we go. in a tracky pocket and held a canister of lighter fluid in his hand. Nobody had bought now, any blues of him the whole live long day. No one had given him a single farthing. He crept along, okay. trembling with DTs and Valium stupor. A very picture of sorrow, the poor little thing. The kids will hate me if I don't get them. Hatchem, Hatchemos, Hatchens, Egg Toy. So, kid, I don't want to buy any Valium. Oh no, I hate when you get so Valium. What do you got one? Pound it. Oh, I just hide behind those shops. Oh! I didn't do anything, nothing happened. His little hands were almost numbed with cold. Oh, a puff of butane might afford him a world of comfort. Okay. If he only dared take a single one, inhale against the wall, and let thoughts He drew one in. Oh, I'm just How it tickled. Or whatever? It okay. seemed really to the little fellow as though. You were sitting before a large burning bin. The fire burned with such so blessed this, so this, influence. This, it warmed so delightfully. So this the is the, boy had this is this is the true meaning of Christmas to warm then. Too, but okay. I'll the buzz was over. Out. The bin vanished. He had only the ghastly taste and frozen back of tongue. He gulped back another deep spray from the unguarded nozzle. Betwixt incisor and canine, it blind and where okay. the white formed in front of his vision, there stood oh, a rabid hair the holding bone. the bleeding throat of a child. Why is a bunny of a throat of a child? How did know it was a throat? Someone is just dead, said the little man. Yeah. For his old grandmother, the only person who had loved him, and who was now no more, had told him, 
the way the rabbit rips out a throat, a soul How did a rabbit ra rabbits dog. rip out throats? He drew another breath. I feel like the rab rabbits don't again rip light. out many things from humans. I feel like they're more of a more like plant kind of eaters and eaters and stuff like that. But I don't know. In the luster, there stood oh. the old grandmother, so bright and radiant, so wild, and with such an expression of love. Grandmother, cried the little butane boy. Oh, take me with you. You go away when the buzz burns out. And he pressed the spout of the canister for as long as he could, for he wanted to be quite sure of keeping his grandmother near him. I feel like I've the head I've gave such seen a brilliant a hallucination that, was that this, it was brighter it than a noonday. Never formerly had the grandmother been so beautiful and so tall. She took the little fellow on her arm and both blew in brightness and in joy so high, so very high, and then above was neither cold nor hunger, nor but in the corner at the cold hour of dawn sat the poor boy, with blue lips and with a smiling mouth leaning against the wall, frozen to death on the last evening of the old year, yeah, stiff and stark, sat he wanted like to warm himself, like people said, like like a no one heard with the slightest suspicion of what beautiful things but he had seen, and no one even dreamed so of the splendor which, talk about with his, his grandmother, death. he had entered on the Okay, well that happened. Now we're back to these people. And, uh, that guy's busy, like, blowing up his stomach or something. Once in a while. Uh, this guy's dead. And there my dream oh. ended. Truly a dream supply. Okay, he was talking in the way the entire time. Goodness. Oh brother, oh, come, he was awake. let us rejoice and sing our praises to God. Rejoice about the... what? Rejoice. Oh, 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 it's always good to sing the rejoices of a stuck kid that is putting dying from a Finger painted trees with that are pixelated. Okay. Well, I should finger painted them. But made them just paint without thing the finger part. Now what's the end of the line? Is she gonna die too? There's really nothing out here. I keep getting to the end. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he... He has a fungus. Poor guy, poor man. Oh, he's a... Okay. Let's teleport into the she house. She brought him home and kept him with her for the rest of their days. She would even, on occasion, dress him in ornaments. Sometimes she thought she saw an angel float above him. I don't know what's that. Okay, so he turned into a tree. I guess, and then she kept his tree body with her forever, cause, okay, and good story. So I awoke oh, with blissful joy, 
uh, very joyful. This night without a doubt is one of heavenly wonder, for I too have been gifted a dream. One of the dream! Wrapped on high. Pray tell, pray tell. Pray tell, please tell. Oh. I can't read that. Some time ago, there was a husband and wife. They had lived long and full lives, but had never bore any children. One crisp winter, a fluffy uh, stroke crisp. came, setting almost to one's knees. The children of the town were full of glee and excitedly began making snowmen. The old couple watched them and were filled with oh, maybe the old couple we can make a snowman. Oh, maybe and they the can make a snowman. I mean, you are happening. old and stupid. What would we do with a snowman? <laughs> Grumbled them. If destiny denied us a child, then we will have a child from the snow, posited the old snow. Let it be so, agreed Babushka. Is her name Babushka? Or is she just a Babushka? Ah, uh, is the Babushka going on out? Ah, uh, let me help you. Never mind. Back in another door, back in the wilderness of Microsoft Paint Trees. And I can't do anything if you just run around. Oh my god, it looks just like me when I was a young lass. Put on a coat, Harold. They stood and looked at their creation. Babushka stroked the snowman on the head and sighed. <sighs> if we could just have that kind of daughter. You think of that kind of daughter that looks exactly like that. When she said like these words, she felt because that the snowman was breathing lightly, like, like a child. Like that. Uh, breathe, breathe, uh, breathe, uh, breathing lightly breathing lightly like a child. When the black eyes squinted and the little mouth smiled, Snyashka moved her little legs and stretched her little arms, looked from left to right, then looked cured. Cried the old couple in joy. This is no snowman, but a real child. I would have thought they would be like a real child in a snow. shook her head. Oh my god, shook it. It's like, what do I call it? Shaking. It's kind of like, I don't know, I like a, she's like a rave or something. Snyashka clapped her hands. And Shnezhka stamped her feet due to the cold, poor thing. Due to the, she went in the snow! Wait, 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 what am I cold? She tried to brush the snow from her dress, but couldn't. I brush the snow from the dress, but because the snow, the dress is made of snow, but look at that, it's not the dress, so it's more of a coat. The couple eagerly ran after. Oh, is she gonna, is she gonna melt? Oh, okay. We're back to here, I guess. When the couple set foot in the house, oh, Snezhka was nowhere to be seen. Oh. Only a steaming puddle was left next to the fireplace. Oh. They really took a long time to get back in the house. No oh, wait. That. Oh, very but what are we to make of these beatific visions? To what purpose are these blessings? Just then, a celestial chorus began. The shepherds raised their heads, and their gaze was met with a glorious sight, for before them appeared a great Christmas course. of the heavenly Merry host. Christmas. Picture of somebody about to sneeze or something, and they take a picture of me sleeping and put it on a doll. Wait, that's not it. Wait, 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 wait. Those are birdies, or also known as shuttlecogs. From badminton or badminton. Merry Christmas, guys. I think that's it. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, I guess that's the true meaning of Christmas. Hope you guys never forget that. Uh, remember, the true meaning of Christmas is a uh, person uh, dying in the cold while I guess, inhaling butane, seeing their grandmother. Uh, a, a man uh, arguing, a couple, and the man goes out and turns into a tree and woman keeps him and then uh, people build a snow child and it comes to life and dies that's the end that's the true meaning of Christmas hope you guys never forget it's not about presents all right it's about this uh, happy, happy see you next year